Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and our Lords of Penfro in the moment under Lord Hithet. Uh We're still like in our one province here in the very West Welsh at the Pemgrosshire coastline. Um, yeah, last time we went hunting here in Gwent at one of our um, fellow vessels to the Lord of uh, Hivel of Dehoibath. He went hunting with us as well. However, he had apparently he got kind of ill over there. Um, yeah, so small town things happening in Wales. In the meantime, bigger things are happening here in the north. We saw a collapse of the Jorvik, uh, so which turned just to Halfdan uh, to go to the very one province here in... Uh, oh, what is the province called? Lancashire? Um, yeah. Whilst um, uprising, a Catholic or Irish, um, no, not Northumbrian, Christian uprising, a populist uprising, removed their rule. However, now they find themselves in two wars once again, versus a northern army who wants to uh, conquer the kingdom of Dera, so new Vikings arriving. At the same time, also they took over the war that uh, the Mercians were fighting versus the... Um, yeah, versus the Darians, uh, versus the Vikings of Jorwick. So yeah, the Danelag or the, the area up here, Northumbria, is very much contested. And yeah, it's not it's not like there's a lot of peace going on. So it's still uh, interesting to see. But it looks like despite these wick, the bad war score over here, that the Cornish might actually overcome the problems and might keep themselves independent. But yeah, probably also he's going to die soon and we'll see a very young king over here. Is there actually... Do we have a daughter? Oh. Huh. It's a bastard daughter of my, my concubines. But maybe actually we have a chance. Maybe to... Um, yeah. Get connected to the Cornish. I'd say why not actually. I mean, he like, couldn't get... We can get called into this war... But yeah, both uh, the war here like looks like they, they are kind of beaten. Half done. So yeah, I, I totally forgot last time also that uh, here Yal Iva became our rival after like p pillaging uh, Penfro and the area. He also hampered our efforts and destroyed our note the notes in Gaelic. So we can't become a uh, become a yeah fluent Irish speaker. Hence, oh, it takes us way longer since we got really angry at him. And yeah. I got lost again, but definitely let's do this actually, and uh, it's, I think it's a good option. We have our new, new new ruler here of Cornwall with our daughter. Why not? And we fought actually alongside his father also in Ireland, so I think he's an honorable man. Um, we come back home, and yeah, the forest export is back. Okay, uh, goes back. So yeah, we're back alone and back in Diffid and Penfro. Checking what happens, and yeah, ex exactly what I predicted after the alliance we're getting called to the war, but yeah, I'm not gonna march out now, we don't, oh, we, we okay, recovered our army, actually. And who got, what is happening? Oh, pause, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, what happened, and, and shortly after the betrothedness, he died already on his, and we have, yeah. The new pity king Rickard Abdomnath, who is betrothed to our daughter. Let's see, in four years, I think he can marry her. Let's see. And uh, we have a call to war. He also causes a war against. In the resection, resection claim on the earldom of. Oh. Maybe I didn't control properly enough, or was he already at war? Wait. Northumbria and Wessex. When did Wessex attack Devon? 15 months, but was it already only on him? Maybe... Oh. Well, we will answer his call to war, even though we will not be able to support here. Our oh, Wessex are. Wessex and Essex are being uh, allied anyways. So just talking about the strong good marriage with the Cornish, but <laughs> it looks like uh, he's just going to be pushed back to Cornwall and lose Devon anyways. And Lanesteren is Lanester is trying to conquer here um, Ormond, so the last hold of our friend. That's very very sad. Where's Lanester actually over here? Yeah, and, and this is our friend, right? Brother-in-law and friend. Yeah, we shall definitely come. And this is actually a reason where I would love to intervene. 
But they have... Who's fighting over here? Also, he's fighting several wars. Um, let's raise our army. And see... Uh, I mean, Lanesta has 300. And they're being crashed already. And we can't afford this. And I think... Oh, here come the Cornish troops, though. Mm. I'm reckless, he's my friend. I think we will try to do that, actually. Despite all the obstacles. Maybe some we get some assistance. Maybe this is not the best move. Of Are they fighting each other? Yeah, exactly. These are two contesting fractions in other wars. So maybe... And now it's actually us who is coming here to help our friend. I mean, he came from when he had problems over here, he came during our birthday, so this is not forgotten. My son has recovered, I didn't even know he had a cold. And yeah, there's several battles over here, but maybe we can use the, the weekend. I mean, oh, defending a river crossing, can we go like this? We'll try, to, we'll try our luck here versus the... Let's see, they are attacking us now. But we are brave. This can be won. Maybe. It will be lost. <laughs> oh! And the, the... Okay, with the control... The, oh, gosh. The war is actually over. Why did it unpause? Uh, it was a little bit fast. Okay. <laughs> and our friend... Wait. So Devon is lost to Wessex. Cornwall is still here, over here, okay. But so is Ormond lost, and our dear friend... Can I... Really, do I have to, do I have to go, get, go, go, uh, go back home? That's weird. Um, let's go and help over here then. And our other friend here, um, yeah, what was his name again? Konglach, no, it was Dunkhat. Lost his possessions. Maybe we will invite him to our court for sure. Here we can show our what we do with the uh, with the Vikings that have been so bad to us all over uh, the British Isles. Ambush. I was traveling at night with a group of people. We were all in a hurry. We must move with haste or else they'll catch us, someone said. Suddenly there were screams and fire. Ambush. Run for it, someone shouted. Too late. The next thing I knew is I was hit with several arrows and began bleeding profusely and losing consciousness. Eh, huh, what? Where was that? I'm bleeding? Then still in Ireland, I guess, not in the ships. What a nightmare. Are you running or what? Oh, they're fleeing actually, okay. I'm a little bit surprised that I can only disband at friendly areas. I didn't know this one. Well, let's hope that the Cornish, the Cornish people are coming to our assistance. That would be quite lovely, actually. Or let's stay here, maybe, in a good defensive position. In a good defensive position, maybe. Here we have fields. Here we have planes. All right. Let's retreat a bit. Uh, okay, they're here. Uh, it's a close one. It's a close. It's a very tough one. And yeah, okay. Now our courageousness shows once again. And yeah, we can beat a Viking army. This must be kind of a yeah satisfying thing for us. Despite Dengby having bowmen, wigmen, and bondi, we just have armored footmen. Okay, the Dark Cave. One of the children at court, Drunkstville, had taken the spinning top of a younger girl and thrown it into a nearby cave. My son was there and was on, saw it all happen. Who is this? My daughter. One of the children at court, yeah. Ah, she's the one betrothed to the Cornish one. He ran into the cave and didn't come out for almost half an hour. But when he did, he had retrieved the toy, much of the annoyance of Drunkstville. Very brave, albeit perhaps somewhat foolish. Alright, uh, such bravery is recommendable. I left. Our son. Uh, I mean, we are brave ourselves, so I think bravery is good. Now we can let him keep brave. And we just won the battle over here, which... Oh, we at least get prestige of this one. 
and it's an added battle. I mean, I would call it a skirmish, but still, it's a victory. And we made some prisoners. Maybe we can actually sell them to have some money to extend our, our lands. A stranger has brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Stakadr, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are very off the road. If you allow us to stay, I will be happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be lo your loyal servants. A Norse wandering man. Saga Ragnivor. Embrace God, yeah. The more the merrier. They just can come on. We are generous, okay. Let's check. I mean, we're kind of faithful, but also not extra. And uh, I don't know. Well, let's roll a dice in between those two. Yeah, we are generous, so he can stay. And we are not necessarily like racist or have a. We we hate these Viking wanderers, but I don't have a general problem with Norse men, especially this. Fat one doesn't look like a reaver. <laughs> Maybe we don't know that. Uh, all right, then let's let's roll the dice in between the first two options. If we allow them actually as Norsemen here, or if they should convert. And we roll a four, so the more the merrier. We don't care actually if they in which religion they want to live. We have a hook on him. All right, so we returned our army and our also our uh, um, prisoners. So we have Kongal. I was lone one. Maybe we have him here actually for longer. Already from Ireland, I would have expected him to be quite helpful, but about to die. Maybe let 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 him re let release him and gain a weak hook. Maybe he's a sword master at least. What we know, so maybe he can uh, yeah, get to our uh, be part of our court, but maybe he dies soon. Who who knows? We'll see. Remembering birthday past, as I turn another year older today, I'm reminded of the splendid birthday party my friends Dunkhard and Kongalach arranged for me several years ago. I was my fiftieth, no? How joyous, uh, joyous it was to feel the kindness and warmth of our friendship made so evident. I remember as though it was yesterday, we feasted and danced and even presented me with a wonderful gift. I think I still have my quail's actual gem lying around somewhere. Yeah, we do have this wonderful thing still around. Released him. What's maimed? Or is something really broken badly? Locked in his room, my son Bledrick came to me complaining about Ragnar bullying him. He has been staying in bed for days and avoided facing the other child. You don't have to f face the world if you do not want to. Make sure you stay hidden wherever you go. I mean, uh, I wouldn't necessarily go for lazy because even though if you're lazy, I think it's not something you would to recommend to somebody. But also stay hidden i don't know he's a brave man i think there's no clear answer here i will roll the die three all right so yeah also bladrick becomes lazy but yeah he's there not the first line anyways how's, how's my grandson doing actually who's raising him he's in my he's in my court right yeah we should have have a look uh he'll fight the second probably he's pensive and he gets a stewardship education, all right. Who's educating him then? Do we have a good steward? Yeah, Eguachan. Maybe then let's do this. Uh, um, yeah, I think he's the best one suited, best suited for this task. And if you're getting a steward over here, then yeah, he shall do it. Can we also, he also, yeah, should study a language, and I think it's Gaelic, yeah, well, let's ask, he does it with uh, with his warden. Oh yeah, we can have them study Gaelic as well. Yeah, go for Gaelic. There will be more Irish around. I mean, Norse would be also probably an interesting language, or oh, of course, Angles. And we died. Okay. Traveling through dark woods with my retinue, we are accosted by a band of rogues. They soon proved to be more interested in our lives than in our gold, and though my men fight bravely, the brigands had the elements of surprise. 
I run as fast as I can until I think I've made it to safety. Then, over the noise of battle, I hear the pure twang of a single bowstring. Okay, somebody looks like somebody killed us. You were murdered by an unknown assailant. Well, as a player, I would say that probably it was I but the boneless since we are rivals, no? But, yeah. All right, that was so much about Hiffet. We played him for 17 years. Lord Hiffet of Diffet rests in the arms of the Lord at 54 years of age. He died under mysterious circumstances. As an interveteran diplomat, there was no argument he could not peacefully resolve. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, most of the things were not really resolved peacefully, but that was probably the time being. Lord Liverch ascends to the throne. Being a talented military tactician, many expect him to lead the realm to many victories on the field of battle. All right, there we go. Um, yeah. We continue as Liverch. And let's have a look. Let's have a look at us. Lord Liverch, up, fight of up. Okay, up. Oh, now I understand the system. Was he up? What did he been up? Bladry, I guess. Let's have a quick look. How is our son called? Up Liverch. Ah, it's kind of the, the son. Okay. Liverch, son of Hiffite of David. We are 34 years old. We are just. We are temperate. We are impatient. It's best to enjoy things in, in moderation. Strong sense of justice. But things that most things should happen fast. Ideally, they should happen now. All right. It's a patient. It's an interesting character. He's just and temperate, so he has good intentions, I think, but he wants them to be done soon. He has no claims or anything. Do we know anything special? Oh. Oh, he became... He was friends with the half-brother who died. He was the one who lost the battle in, in Ireland, where the brother was slain. Okay. He's friends with Adam. Okay. Is he at our court? With his, uh, yeah, let's do this then. He's a Welshman. I have no further heritage. I became friends with Arfbof, a brother, your half brother. Okay. Ah, it's Seeless. Okay, it's like a young brother in the end. Okay. And that's it, my, my father died. So I think as a just man, we need to find out who killed our father. That should be, or like what, since the uh, circumstances are mysterious. And we're impatient, so this is so, probably something we're going to do very fast. Our wife is Princess Nest of uh, Ferch Rodri of Wales. She's a daughter of the Rodri the Great, so she's a sister to one of um, to our king and to all the several northern lords outside of the Hoibard, which are pretty, make, pretty much make up the... Um, yeah, the northern part of Wales here in the, I think Povis is the duchy, no? Gwynedd, Gwynedd. Gwynedd, our oh, Povis is over here, okay. All right. So, so much about this. Let's have a closer look then. Um, what we're going to do. Um, yeah, we have our son, of course, Hilfert the second. We just uh, started teaching him already as Hilfert the first. And we have a council to roll out. She's pretty much average in everything, so she can just assist us. That's fine. Do we have a good chancellor? Okay, these are my friends, the friends of my father, so but they're not really anymore. He's quite untalented, so no. He will be our um, man over here. Whilst... No, actually, he will be our marshal again, like with our father already. Whilst um, our courtier will be Anthrith. Anthrith is a Lombard, okay. How did he come here? Any history for him? Bishop of Ripon, where's that? As a bishop, okay. And then he was it was taken from him, so now he's just working as a no noble man for us. That's fine for me. Um... We have to choose a lifestyle. We are uh, taught to be a um, yeah in a military focus, so that's what we're gonna run after or go after at the moment.
I think such as a just and uh, temperate man, I will go for these. He's kind of after these typical knightly chivalry things. I will just start with this one. He's fighting a lot himself, so yeah. We will start with this uh, line, even though I think knighthood in the classic way is not a thing of the time, especially in such contested areas, but still, we're gonna go on. He has already, which is nice, basically the traits of his father, so also he was apparently working with him on the defense and how to make uh, Penfron Diffid very safe. Um, oh, we have a child, a lot of... We can ask for a lot of claims, yeah, for the... It's a little bit odd for the kingdoms. No, I will not go for these ones. We can. We also still have the actual of our father, which yeah, we will not repair right now. We don't have... However, we're better in stewardship, yeah. So we're not making so little money. <laughs> Let's see. We have my half-brother. He's my friend, right? He's getting intrigue education. Do we have somebody who can... I will, I guess then he can learn with the spy master. Yeah, with the education, I'm not really sure how to do this perfectly well already. My niece of my beloved brother who died. Yeah. She can learn from Illud. Your half-brother left. How are you feeling about our uh, stepmom? We don't care too much. He's getting a... But she can take care of her son. While Bledrick... Is Odek also getting the... Maybe Bledrick we can give to our bishop. Even if he's not so... talented. Alright. This is done. Um... We do have an eight-year-old thumb. Can we? Do we have any alliances? Can we already arrange one with this this guy? No, I think I have to wait until they get married. Do we have an alliance with our uh, brother-in-law? No, he doesn't like it. Okay. Do we have what kind of relations do we have with Duke Hibble? He likes us, but we are not really fond of him. Uh, we want to see it in the council. Let's see if we get this one. And we get in a second, and we also gonna be the chancellor as my father was, even though we're really not as talented. Un but yeah, we're gonna take it. Sure, we're impatient, so thank you very much for the quick and just a decision to make us a chancellor. And yeah, let's think about one other thing. Um, how do we gonna marry our? How are we gonna marry our son? Is there any interesting chances in here? I mean, those guys are basically all our brother-in-law, our brothers-in-law, so maybe it's not the best idea to marry with those guys. Uh, what about our Duke Kivel himself? Any grandsons or granddaughters on the way? Didn't even... They are 35 and not married? That's odd. So Drea expanded, Connacht is Viking, so this is not options for us. Is there with Ulster, maybe? Maybe with Mercia? We. Oui. What is happening to them? Are they... Are they somehow following a weird... thing over here? Since... Oh, wait, 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 by the way, talking about it, so they... Okay, so Mercia kind of was successful. So they took over the title of Dera, or what it was, Jor Jorvik over here. So the Viking army was apparently, um, how did it, reprieved? So the, the Northman army, so it looks like they kind of freed here the north, uh, these areas. But him? Was granted it's two years ago? Those guys are independent up here, the Northumbrian lords. Because this is Jorvik, right? This is the this Jorvik is York. Okay, you exactly. They took only York and the others got kind of free. And since they would belong to Halfdan, let's see if he retakes them of their former uh, Christian Northumbria up here. Very, very interesting. Wow. Maybe here we have some
They are the Kili Alt Klutz. They should be. Maybe they're interesting wedding partners. Ooh. Ilut Artgal Alt Klutz. Do we have a chance to get in here with our son? Where's my son? Where's my son? Come on. If I'd. If I if I if I that's super weird. I mean, we can marry it to our half brother. Yeah, she doesn't want that. I mean, it's not our rank, so it was quite unlikely, anyways. But why can't I use if I over here? That's surprisingly weird. Is there anybody out there? Are they completely new? And why is everybody wearing these linen shirts? They're not even sick. And here, over here, the Mercians. Yeah, let me know if you have an idea why this is happening and happening why everybody's just in these cheap clothings. Well Ethel Hilt. Helga. Is there any maybe Oh, I could get an alliance with Mercia? This is pretty strong, and I find this actually quite tempting, no? It's a bossy young lady. They ate their six. We're not far from them. They live over here. I think this could make a good alliance. And actually, for us, it's great, so let's go for it. And Shalgrad has a lot of security in alliance with Mercia, so this is great. And actually, I think um, this is also a great moment for us after the passing of um, our father and not going too deep into the new uh, leverage time. So I think it's a great moment to also end this very episode. So yeah, once again, let me know what's happening or what you think what's going on. And it's pretty impressive uh, development, having this strong mercy very early on, while Ireland is falling more and more to the Norsemen. Yeah, let me know what you think. What should be? What is your impression of Livark? Um, how do you? What kind of character do you see in him? I'm happy for suggestions and ideas how you would play him. Impatient, temperate, and just. And yeah, we just got the first marriage, at least to our son, uh, Bethrothness out with Mercia, which is pretty powerful. And yeah, that's it for the moment. Um, if you liked it, or also if you wanted to support just the channel, please leave me a like and a subscription. It helps me a lot. And uh, costs you nothing and pushes the channel for what so thank you very much and apart from that uh, see you next time in yeah you know, in the year 1884 with uh Libarch and yeah a new episode bye your strategy wolf